Amazon Fab Labs. Ever heard of them? Yeah. That's uh, Benito Juarez. Benito came uh, uh, from the Ber uh, Peruvian Amazon. His family moved when he was 16 to Lima, the capital city. And there he saw the juxtaposition of, or at least realized the juxtaposition of the freedom of the Amazon against the suffering of the city. And that led Benito to explore the idea of inclusive innovation. And he is the founder of the first Fab Lab, a digital fabrication laboratory in Lima, and had a hand in establishing Fab Labs in Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, and Colombia. Over to you. Thank you very much. I grew up in the Peruvian jungle, the most biodiverse territory on the planet, where nature inspired me on special sensitivity and creativity. I still remember every time my father cut his finger, he, he would take the resin from a plant to regenerate the, the injury. The Amazon forests provide food, aid, and shelter, and people only produce that they consume. However, it's still one of the poorest areas of my country where basic education, health, and safety are precarious. But now we have a great opportunity with Fab Lab, the new industrial revolution from digital communication and computation to digital fabrication as these machines. Uh, this initiative organize, uh, originated in, this, in the MIT Center for Bits and Atoms, thanks to Professor Gershenfeld here present, uh, is allowing anyone to make anything anywhere. In 2009, I was elected by the Spanish government and today I work to be part of the network, and, then, and today I work to connect digital fabrication with the potential of nature and culture of my, of my region. This is my motivation to create the Floating Fab Lab Amazon, a unique project on the future manufacturing and forest conservation. This is more than a laboratory. It is a new perspective on climate change and social inclusion. The Amazon's green herds make an ideal place for sustainable solutions incubation for both local and global communities. Our goals are reducing pollution and providing health by developing a new generation of biomaterials for 3D printing and customized nutrition, space conservation through distributed network for monitoring environment education, providing access to digital fabrication to solve native challenges locally in production, energy, water, communication, etc. Indigenous local knowledge and global best practices together can create methods of synergy as eco-construction, new materials, environment adaptation, and new green economy. For example, the walking tree moves 10 meters 10 meters in 30 years adapt to a shifting ground. We are making walking house to adapt homes uh, to the rivers. We need your support to make this project real. We expect to start the construction of the first pile of next year to cover 5% of the Amazon River. Um, for the initial structure and the lab equipment and its staff, we need $2 million of support. Then we invite you to, so, to help scale the project to 20 fabla distributed along the river to cover the same, uh, 100% of the Amazon River for both local conservation and global sustainability. And finally, I would like to invite everybody here to join us, to join uh, to the jungle and to join the Floating Fab Lab. Thank you very much. Wow. Phenomenal, phenomenal. That's just phenomenal. Back to you, Megan. Okay, thanks, Kamau. Uh, I was lucky to be in school with Neil, who's here, and uh, he teaches a class how to make almost anything. And it's amazing when you start to learn how to make all the things that we have in our homes and our pockets. And this idea from the Fab Lab community, of which there's hundreds of Fab Labs around the world. If you've never been to one, I encourage you, find the Fab Network, a community of makers all over the planet and uh, visit one of the Fab Labs, make one of your own, make sure there's one in the school where your children are and where your neighbor's children's are, children are. The next one is 